Hi, Super Spruce here, back with another Realm Grinder video, episode 85, and where we last left off, I'm going to try to get this Elder Dragon upgrade, where I just need enough Diamond Coins and, and Faction Coins and enough Max Mana. So, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to, if, if I want Max Mana, I'm going to get, I think, Face Line is the best, because that gives a Max Mana boost. So, that's what I'm going to do. Um, it may not be the best for coins or faction coins, but hopefully if I just use the um, A1 Dwangel research build, it should work just fine. Because E10 faction coins of each is really not all that much. And, hope, and I, I, think, I don't think E73 diamond coins is a lot. Like, I think I've gotten up to like E78, 79. So, yeah. I, I some, yeah, okay. I just need to get the spell. No, I don't want it like that. I can just do this. Um, and hopefully this. I only have 60,000 max mana, but hopefully that's enough. I'm really hoping. It looks like I'm going to easily reach the faction coins. Um, and I'm, I'm just not sure if I'm going to get enough diamond coins. Like I'm, I'm, I'm really worried that I'm just... It's just not enough. It's only E70 here. So... I'm really not sure. Even with all these royal exchanges, I could try to. I can't even activate. Yeah, it's this. This is tough. I'm so. I'm surprised that. I mean, I. I know it's definitely possible. It's probably not even that hard. But maybe. Maybe these spell tiers will do stuff because. I mean, they. They seem to be helping already. So, I think I just have to wait for the coins. It's. I know it's dumb that I have to wait for this, like that. But. I'm now getting like three or four e seventy one with each. T like maybe if I buy buildings in a smart way, where I where I just don't buy it if it's e seventy or more, like this, uh, that could help me get more coins. So like that because this increases the amount of buildings I have without really spending a lot of coins, which means that um, called arms and also a bunch of other stuff is probably buffed. Maybe I should have gotten, instead of going face line, I should have probably gone druid line, but whatever. It's still a decent max mana, and yeah, this, this I'm, I'm just gonna wait this out. Okay, I'm back, and I finally have E73 coins, and I have enough max mana that I can do the, I can get the Elder Dragon, so here we go. The dragon is now mature and has learned the customs of your realm. The only thing that remains is to feed him with a large amount of magical power, increase your max mana, and once it's ready, gray dragon to an L dragon dragon. Three, two, one, bam. Congratulations. You have permanently unlocked the dragon faction. So here's a and this trophy somewhere. Is it oh it's this one. Dragon Tamer. It's just it's one of the secret trophies that just comes naturally. I I, th I thought it was gonna be like this one. This is just purchase all the dragon upgrades. So this is the first new faction since mercenaries 60 episodes ago and i've heard a little bit about what dragons do or at least what the dragon faction is there's this which is it's increase the production of all buildings by 200 percent and triples faction coin chance it's e65 diamond coins it's a pretty nice upgrade but the thing is i want to experiment with what the what the dragons actually do and i think it's at this point i'm not sure if i should be reincarnating at this point um, given my spell tiers, because I've heard that Reincarnation 46 is a really good reincarnation to do spell tiers in. I don't even see where I can... I don't, I don't see where the spell tiers here. Um, I, I think there's an external website for that. Yeah, the, re the reason why I'm so picky about this whole spell tier thing is because I've heard that, like, like, from the same video where, like, the dragons was infamous for having the 12-hour time walls, the video also said that to max your spell tiers, it would take 10 days, and you and if you reincarnate, you lose that progress in the spell tiers. I mean, you still have the spell tiers, but to get up to the next tier, it's going to take even longer, and that's what I'm really worried about. So, I'm just going to... Right now, I'm going to avoid reincarnating, and I could check out the dragon faction actually I'll just do that I'll, I'll check out what the dragon faction is so I know a little bit about it I have to go neutral to be a, a dragon so I mean that's why I went neutral that other time 
And I'm just going to do the, I think I'll just do druids here. And the big thing is, I've, I've heard, at least I've heard this, that dragons are the neutral prestige faction. That's what I've heard. I'm just going to do the druid research build 5, even though it's probably not the greatest build ever. And I'm not even going to pick up bloodline, but here it is. This is the dragon trade treaty. The dragon is the mightiest, most imposing creature of all the realms. None may stand a chance alone against dragon, even the fiercest of heroes. They usually care little for the lower creatures, but if you have picked their interest. So, the thing is, okay, I probably should be casting spells at this point. Um, this will definitely help me get the coins and the faction coins. Here it is. It's just the faction coins I need. So, here we go. This means I'm going to unlock all the upgrades with it. So, let, let's look what, what these are. The first one is um, increase the production of Stonehenge, Labyrinths, and Halls of Legends based on the amount of time spent as neutral in this reincarnation. Also, there's a new spell. I should probably check that first. And this is it's called Dragon's Breath. And it activates one of the following effects at random every for 43 seconds. Red. Increase the production of unique buildings. Um, unique buildings isn't very good because Stonehenge is almost nothing. Um, based on amount of faction coins found at the game. Doesn't doesn't help that that's 15-50%. Green is increased production of all buildings based on spells cast in this game. Higher bonuses are provided to lower tier buildings. Okay, interesting. Um, probably doesn't seem all that good. Then there's blue. Increase your mana regen by 200%. That seems pretty powerful. And then white. Temporarily increase the amount of assistance based on times being neutral in this reincarnation. 253. That's not very good. And then black is increase the production of all buildings based on Dragon's Breath activity time in this game. So, okay, I will see what it does. It should give a color. I mean, I'll just cast it like this. And there, there's a trophy, Dragon's Roar. I don't... Um, there must be a color here. Where Where is the color? It, it says, oh, current bonus, white. So this means that I'm getting the assistant bonus. Um, and then, this is this. Cast Dragon's Breath while having at least four other active spells. That's a pretty easy one. Um, this is Dragon Breath multiplicatively increases faction coin fine chance based on duration. That's pretty good. 58% faction coin fine chance. So now let's look at these upgrades. So there's increased the production of Stonehenge, Labyrinths, and Halls of Legends. Looks like Halls of Legends is the best thing here. Um, based on the amount of time spent being neutral in this reincarnation. So 70%. And then there's increased the production of Iron Strongholds by 2,000% when affected by any spell. That's really good. That's, I think that's like a, I don't know why that percentage just went down instead of up, but I think think that, oh, it's, it probably went down just because the Grand Balance is targeting something else. Um, it's now targeting... You know, the Grand Balance is targeting everything but the strongest two. That's probably why. So maybe... I, th I thought I thought it was going to be like a 5 times boost to production, but it's maybe just a 2 times boost. Then there's increased the production of all buildings based on Royal Exchange bonus. And 231%. That's pretty good. Then there's increased assistance production based on time spent affiliated with dragons. That's okay. Then there's increased the production of all buildings based on the amount of artifacts you found. And it's seven times boost, which I think is really good. Then there's this. There's more there's more upgrades that I need to get. And I just don't have an I don't have the diamond coins for though. That's the, that's the reason. I should probably get these upgrades. Um yeah, it looks like I just got a bunch of useful stuff. So this is gain additional assistance based on clicks made this game. That's four assistance. It lo looks like dragons is just a little bit of everything. And also there's a dragon bloodline, by the way. Um, so what is this? This is increase the production of all buildings based on faction coin fine chance. And it's 1300%. I think that's good enough for me to pick it. Um, it's also this upgrade, which is... Um, if I'm your three real, how do I say that? Our kind needs large spaces and a place to take flight. Build enough iron strongholds to make room for this. Isn't this just... Oh, it's the unique building. I'm like, 
I thought we already had research, but no, it's the unique building. This is um, upgrade iron strongholds to worms dens, boosting their production based on faction coins found this reincarnation, and unlocking more unique perks for this building. And it's sixty four thousand percent in Ascension One, which is going to make it suddenly OP. And of course, there's also yeah this upgrade. And there's also some research upgrades I haven't even gotten yet. It's mostly just um, the e economics one. I'm not really sure what the best one to choose is here, but um, okay, I'm not really sure if I need artifacts. I could get this. It's multiplicative, 100% faction coin chance. Could get, I could just get the E290, or I even could get E135 to, to be able to get more buildings. I'm really not sure. There's also this royal exchange bonus. And I think that synergizes with something else. Maybe we'll get this, because um, I thought that synergizes with something else, but whatever. And then there's this. Increased max mana based on the amount of faction coins found in this, in this game, and it's literally 6666. Six, six, six. Yay. So now my max mana is 111,000. And then increased mana regen based on the amount of neutral buildings you own. Just about 150. It's not really that powerful. And now... Um, I, I just need 5e76 to get the last upgrade here, which is increase the production of all buildings based on the amount of active Dragon's Breath effects. There's going to be multiple ac active dra Dragon's Breath effects. Right now it says the current bonus is black, which means increase the production of all buildings. And now I probably want the red one because unique buildings is the best. Um, so, yeah, I'll get this, and this is the last upgrade Okay, it's not the last thing upgrade. There's a dragon heritage. Um, increase assistant production based on time spent affiliated with dragons, and it's 14%. And there's another trophy. So now I'm up to 747. I'm 153 away from 900, which makes me feel like I'm. It's this feel. It makes me feel like I'm deceivingly close to getting to the end of the game. I'm nowhere close to the end of the game. Just saying. So. I'm not exactly sure. It, this definitely looks like the strongest build. I probably should make a dedicated research build to this because going with Druid Research Build Five is probably not the best idea because it's just going to be stuff. It's going to be stuff like increased clicking reward by thirty-seven percent, like rather than. Also, I've heard that Druid is not a great faction for um, dragons, and I've I can see why because Grand Balance. Um, if it wasn't for Grand Balance, the Worms then would be far and away the most OP building. But Grand Balance is balancing it, so it's about as strong as all the others. So, there's that. I've, also, I've heard, I mean, I've not really looked at the Ascension 1 plot very much, but I've heard that Dragon plus Faceless is pretty good. So, maybe I will do that um, next episode. I, I'll, I'll, try, I'll try to make a dedicated build. I could try to tear up Dragon's Breath at this point. Not really sure what the best idea to do here is, but at least I got to play with the whole dragon faction thing. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed. Peace out. Mm -hmm.